Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider a number, decimal number, which is there in the fractional part. The task is to convert this decimal number, fractional decimal number, into its Q15 representation. So, how do I start the process? Uh, the number is 0 0.560123. As this, as there is Q15 representation, I need to carry out 15 iterations. So that is why I have written the, the serial number as 15. So first, uh, let me start with the conversion process. I will consider the number as 0 0.560123. And such a number, I would multiply this by 2. If I multiply this by 2, and I am going to get the product as 1.120246. So make use of the calculator and get this answer. What is the carry? Carry is 1 and I would write it over here. The next number for the iterations I would consider uh, without the integer part, uh, only the fractional part I am going to consider. That is 0 0.120246. Let me consider this and I would multiply this again by 2. If I do that, I am going to get 0 0.240492. And uh, what is the carry? Carry is uh, 0. And uh, the, the number I am left with is 0 0.240. 492 492 and I would multiply this number again by 2 if I do that I am going to get 0 0.480984 and uh, what is the uh, there in the uh, integer part that is 0 I would consider this as the carry and the next number would be 0 0.480984 and I would again multiply this uh, by 2. If I do that, I am going to get 0 0.961968. And the carry I am going to get is 0. So next number I would consider as 0 0.961968. Multiply this again by 2. And I am going to get this time, this is 1.923. 1.923. Nine three six. What is there at the integer part? That is one. I would consider this as the carry. Next, I have uh, I, without the integer part, I am going to write this as zero point nine two three nine three six, and I would consider this number and multiply this by two, and I am going to get one point eight four seven eight seven two. Integer part is one, and I would consider that as the carry bit. And I'm left with that is point eight four seven eight seven two. Multiply this again by two, and I'm going to get this time. This is one point six nine five seven double four. Carry bit is one. Leaving that again, the number is point six nine five seven double four. Multiply this by 2. If I do that, I am going to get this time 1.391488. Carry bit is 1 this time again and I am left with 0 0.391488. Multiply this again by 2. This time I am going to get 0 0.7829. 0.7826. Carry bit is 0 here and I am left with 0 0.782976. Let me multiply this again by 2 and this time I am going to get 1.56. It is 1.565952 and I would consider the carry bit as 1 leaving that, that bit. The number, the next number for the iteration is 0. 5659502 multiply this again by 2. <coughs> Sorry for that. And I'm going to get this time it is 1.131904. Correct? And the carry bit is 1. Just be patient while doing all the iterations. Uh, don't lose the patience and make uh, and commit the mistakes. The number is 0 0.131904. Multiply this again by 2. If I do that, I am going to get this time 0 0.263808. Carry bit is 0. Next number is 0 0.263808. And I would multiply this again by 2. 
and I'm going to get 0 0.527616 and the carry bit is uh, 0 don't consider that and the uh, next thing is uh, uh, 0 0.527616 one six multiply this again by two and if i do that uh, this time it leads to the answer one point zero double five two three two and the carry bit is one and i'll be left with uh, the the next number that is a zero point zero five five two three that gets multiplied with uh, two and this time i'm going to get zero point one one zero 464 carry bit is 0 so now the task is uh, over and i have to write that uh, q15 representation this i would call it as msb bit and the last bit i would call it as uh, lsb bit and now uh, let me write the q15 representation of the given uh, number so let me write that is a q15 uh, representation so how does it that going to be q15 representation is going to be so i'll start with zero point so this is the signed bit if it is zero the number is positive if it is one the number is a negative that it is represented in a two's complement so now that is not the case the number given was uh, positive so it start with one three zero three uh, four one so let me write the answer one three zero three zero and then i have got four ones four ones so once that is done i have got uh, zero double one double zero so let me write that zero double one double zero and then i have one zero so ultimately this i would say as the q15 representation of the given number I hope everything is clear in this numerical. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.